Hello and welcome to another Pixel Game Maker tutorial. Today we're going to go over the particle system, just how easy it is to use it. And it's going to be a little different. I'm not going to like go into like all the details, but I'm just going to show you how you can play around with it for like a minute. And you're just, it's going to be so easy. So with that said, let's get started. All right, so I pulled up one of the project samples here. And we're just going to make this character right now. If we play right now, we just can walk and nothing happens. No particle effects or anything. So we'll give him a little particle effects when he's walking. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to animations and we're going to, you can see that in this, there's um, already some particles made. So I'm going to make one out here and I'm going to call it animation and we're just going to start with a blank, okay? So you could grab some of these if you want, but when you're playing around with the particle system and you just want to know how it works, a blank is better. I'm going to rename this. I always rename my particles PTX underscore and we're just going to say steps. And click OK. And it's going to be uh, right here. And the reason why I name it PTX is so that when I'm searching, let's say that this list gets really long, right? Then I can easily just go PTX and I can get all the PTXs or all the particles there. And then it's not so long of a name particle. I could name it P, but PTX, there was a sample project with PTX and it just kind of stuck with me. I kind of liked it. All right. So now what we're going to do is play around with the particle as far as what these settings are. But the key to note is that how do we test this and how do we make this this uh, testing environment smooth and easy, right? And one of the most important things to notice is that there is a test play button down here on the left of this view. And if you click on it, you can see that we can now see the particles and how they look according to these settings. So if we just click back onto the editor, we should be able to start to edit these. And you can see that it switched to 30. And if we go up here to 150, now we got 150. We could change the direction of them going say 270 and now they're starting to go off more in the 270 direction we could say a speed of 15 and now all of a sudden they're starting to get faster so that makes it more distinct that they're going to the left we could also increase the starting size and give an ending size the smaller one so they're falling off uh, that way um if we wanted them okay they're they're updating right there we could give the lifetime a little less of three and see that they're falling off sooner and we could even let's see here the variant is one to four or four so you're you're getting it's it's varying a little bit so if i took this out uh, uh to zero they're all going to be one by the time that they get to the end of their life cycle but their life cycle is varying by one second as well so some are falling off a little longer so you can see that if i take that the variance off they should all be dying around the same time about right there so and sometimes you will need to reset this so it looks like maybe some of them well they're probably dying the same time since they spawn at different locations because they all spawn from this red thing or from this red area i should say and you can set this area big or small so you could have a wide area which is going to be you know you could probably think of this more for weather effects at the top of the screen and you're spawning in you know snow particles or something or you could just have like a little area like what we're going to have with a footstep and that's where it will spawn just in a, a very specific area. All right. And so this is actually a decent base. I think the start is a little big. So let's give it a, a five maybe. Okay. But we're going to have it to where it's, it's not moving. So we don't want it to be moving. So we'll just set the speed to zero but it's now falling. And that is because down here we have this, this gravity setting right here. Okay. Now you could also mess with initial angle and stuff like this uh, with a square block. It actually might work. Let's see here. 180. They, they might be rotating as they get really short. Let's, let's try making it really big and seeing, yeah, you can see them rotating like that. So you can use this, uh, these rotation things. Um, let's go back to, I think it was five. All right, so gravity now. So gravity is pointing downward. We could also have gravity pointing upward or to the left. Now, since this is going to be a footstep, I really don't want gravity because I want it to be usable on both directions, whether I'm walking or, or stopping. So I want to actually remove the gravity strength. And now it's all going to be going outward. Okay. So now that's all going to be based on my, my speed here, which is one second. So if I lower that to 0.2, it should start 
to get a lot smaller and possibly if I go three or zero, it should be even smaller. All right. So let's go to a uh, normal acceleration. This also might have something to do with how it moves. See a lot of these settings, I don't even know, but the fact that you can just play with it in real time, look at that. It's really nice. That, that was my movement basically. And then um, tangential acceleration. So this is if you wanted to do uh, ro uh, rotation patterns, okay? So again, we could just start messing around with stuff and seeing that you can do all these loop-de-loos. Let's do 90 maybe. Nope, so maybe 360. There you go. You can make a, a nice cool little whirlwind here. So let's do 480. It's even closer. Yeah, so you can just do all sorts of these cool little things. Um, let's go to uh, back to the... Uh, gravity and I, I want it to be a little quicker I want it to have a little less time because it's just a walk right so it's just like I, we need a little less particles that's that's a lot of particles just just some walking uh white's good I don't mind the white smoke look and then we'll have opacity and we will want it to fade out so we want it to fade out in the end and let me zoom in here so we can get closer and so I want it to fade out in the end. And then here's the position that it will start the last cycle. So I want this to be more closer to the to the end of the time there. So if we're at a lifetime of one second, I want this. And it, luckily, it does give, you know, where you're at in the, in the thing here. I'll start it at like 85, 0.85. There we go. And then it's going to fade out in with its opacity. And we could also add things like addition mode. Now this doesn't make sense if you're using a white color because that's kind of what addition does. It kind of amplifies the thing. But if we start using these different icons, which we're gonna do next, you can start, you can see real quick what additive does on, on these. But you can kind of see that we're starting to look a little more like smoke. And they've also got, you know, all sorts of different things that you can choose from. But uh, let's try that one. I liked that one. And then um, you can disable the anti-aliasing. I've noticed that this is really useful when you import your own because you can actually import your own. And when you import it, you can disable the anti-aliasing and then it will look like a uh, pixel art. It'll look like good pixel art. All right, so now what do we need here to make this look like smoke? You know, we might not know. So let's go and uh, test this out. So we can actually close this now. And we can go to the player. And right here under walk, we can add. Now, there's a couple ways to do this. I'll show you uh, one way to do this. So we're going to have this, and we can call this the uh, step smoke, I guess. Yeah, step smoke. That's fine. Remember, you can have as many connection points as you want. So then we're going to right click, add a frame, and we're going to bring this down to the the center right here. Now, there's already one right here. I don't know what it is because this is a sample and it comes so it comes with uh, Japanese names. But I still want it separate because I'm only going to put this on the walk animation, right? That way it disables the particle automatically. So I'm going to paste it right here. And then we're going to go to options, or uh, sorry, objects. And on the player, we're going to have an initialize state. You usually have an initialized state in your objects. And then it's instantly going to go to a, oops, I wanted to make this a default action. And in this, what this an, an initial state is going to do is it's going to show particles. It's going to show the steps and it's going to use the step smoke and it's unlimited time. So this will always just play. We're gonna hit okay. And then we're going to play test. Now, the thing is, is since there is no connection point on the idle, it's not going to do anything. But as soon as we start walking, okay, so that didn't work. And I think I know why it, it might need to have, for instance, if we say walk, or if we make this one walk, it might have to have the connection point when you call it. That might be what was happening there. So there you go. Yep. Okay, so yeah, just important to note if you're calling it, it using this method, 
you're going to want to have the animation that has that connection point when you call it. Okay, but let's play it again. And you can see that now I'm walking and the smoke is, is, is going and then it disappears when I'm in idle. And that is because when I go into idle or wait, then there is no more connection point. And so the particle effect will stop showing. That way you don't have to destroy and reshow your particle everywhere. You can just show it on the animations that you want. And then I can't remember how to jump on this one. Okay, yes. Yep, so it's not doing it. You, you want a jump animation. Yep, so that's working really nice. I think that, let's go back here and start to do some things. I think that uh, let's, we could try it with just circles, you know? If you're a pixel art game and want to stay more true, something like that. Obviously, you'd, it would look a lot better. You would make it more specific. But we could drag it up because we know that it's spawning a little bit under our feet. And the red line is a good representation of where the feet are for the player. If you look at it right there, that red line is right there. So if we do it now, that's pretty good. All right, now let's say that we wanted the smoke to appear behind the feet. We could go to the player. We could click on the, uh, the walk. We could click on set as back of image. And the same with this one, set as back of image. We can now go and the particles will spawn behind. All right, so the other method on how you would do this, let's say that you did not have an initial, an initialized method like this, then what you would have to do is you would have to have a hide particle and you would have to either be specific if you have a lot of particles or you could say all particles on this object. But not only would you have to have it here, you would have to have it on jump and attack because you wouldn't want them going while they're attacking. However, on walk, you would want show particles of the steps to use the step smoke and unlimited time. So now when you're walking, it does that. But you can see one of the one of the not so a good features about this one is that it disappears them all away. So really, if you're gonna use a system like this, you probably would want to use the initialize method, which I'll just uh, control Z here till I get that back. Might be a minute. There we go. Cool. All right, so we got the steps for this. Now there's one more thing I wanna show you about the particles. So notice I didn't really go into details about these the settings here because you can really play around with it yourself. As long as you know you can play test, leave the play test open, you're good. And so the the other thing I wanted to make sure that you knew is that you can have multiple layers of these particles. So you could have, let's just add in another one. So let's delete this one, delete this one. Let's make a one that is just so far fetched here. So let's have the area right here, let's make it be big. And it's just going to rain a bunch of particles when when you start moving. All right, it's just going to rain a bunch of square particles like this. Downward. And let's start getting this uh, test play here. Okay. So we obviously want them to be going faster. Let's see if this helps at all. And okay, so that's their initial speed going that way. That's their initial speed going that way. Let's make their acceleration a little better, like 10. Now, let's add some more particles, maybe. 300. And then here's going to be something funny. Let's, first off, let's change the color too. So let's make them red. Like this. And red. And they're going to die out red, like this. So it's just a bunch of... A bunch of acid rain we spawn basically right now the funny thing is is that this editor the reason why there's blocks here is because these represent tile walls if you want to add a wall detection here you can add a detection and you can see that they'll disappear on this you can also make them rebound if you click it off and they'll start to bounce off of the wall so you can kind of have these cool little uh, moments you can change the uh, friction so this is less rebound or zero rebound actually, or two where they just kind of bounce up and down and 
and up like that. So let's let's try this. So whenever I walk now, it's going to also rain. And it's just going to follow me and they're going to be bouncing off all the walls and, and everything like that. So it's kind of funny. You could have a lot of fun with, with particles. I know this was basic as far as animations that I was showing in here, but you can get more fun with these. But anyway, I think I've covered enough for this video. And if you have any questions, Steamform Discord will get you figured out. And with that said, I'll see you at the next video.